one. Will it ever end? No. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry, I mean, uh, no. Fucking yeah. wrong, doggy. Bam, beta. He's and other southernisms. Sorry, Edgeworth. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Being so edgy. Get Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Oh, guess I am. Uh, I'll come <laughs> back later. Oh. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. What is it? You got a lot of nerve, pal. Make it. <laughs> I detected run all around while on duty. And I, I and the tell off you called me here. I've seen happy people at funeral. I'm getting a strange sense of deja vu. Yeah. I take it Lana's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. The yeah. last time was the last time. Yeah, I have to get, get, get this to you if there's a break in today's trial. Evidence law. Edge was just talking about this just the other day. Is this an insult? I'm sure you know the two rules of evidence law, don't you, right? Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Uh, uh, oh, I got to tear you apart in testimony the other day. That was great. It seems I'm gonna write so. this down. You could at least study some evidence law, really. What a fucking it's, insult. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's okay, we got to tell her her drawing stinks while she was having her traumatic, traumatic flashback to a murder. Yeah. The chief prosecutor also wanted me to give you a message. A uh, message? She said, if you're planning to take him on... Him. From Powerpuff Girls. You're going to need this book. Him. Guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. In the ten minutes before the court starts back up. They don't call me Phoenix Speed Reader right for nothing. Wait, sure. I thought they called you Ass Puller, right? Potato, yeah, potato. What, what's like that? <laughs> well, do, do, you any, do you any good now, though? Shh, it's a fucking naysayer, I'm gums you. Rules for submitting evidence. Rule 1, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Rule 2, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. Rule number 2 is my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically the whole thing. It's like, oh, if the police have not officially, like, already submitted this to the evidence list and everything, you can get it in if you can prove its relevancy to the case. The f yeah. Rule number 2, the Phoenix Wright method. <laughs> Just keep pushing and yelling, and eventually you will get through. All that's le left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Wrong, kiddo. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat? Because you're lazy? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me? Mr. Edgeworth. I don't like the gif that's in chat. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not it, great. It's I like him. It. Yeah, I know who it is. Yeah. I mean, I like it. <laughs> the real trial today hasn't begun yet. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> what, what else is there left to do? Prove my client not guilty? Edstika's just voicing his real-life concern right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the game anymore. You're kind of very well ruined with this Ford evidence you were unaware of. And, and, and you're right, the How much more is it you thought was more me than gumshoe? I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry here. I mean, we know what happened! We figured it out! But now we gotta prove it. <laughs> this, this shouldn't take much to do. Ever sky, sky but out she unwittingly caused the man's death. I'm sure she's fine. 
She's okay. And now you're telling me what you want to do more? You gotta be kidding me! Damn it, Gumshoe! I have a fucking <laughs> obligation, okay? Yeah! Send Emma to prison! Smack! Smack! You're an idiot! I'm tired of all the being idiots! Stupid. You're stupid, you're stupid, you're stupid! The only two people who are stupid are me and Edgeworth! Jeez! <sighs> okay. Ahem! I mean, you're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. Um... She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. <laughs> she didn't kill him. That means yeah, the she's, just, she's just got a weird kink. That means the real killer is still out there. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no. I thought we kind of dropped the sexualized stuff on this case and then boom. No. Fucking no. Oh, bombshell. No. It's okay. Lana's actually legal, unlike her sister. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's true. 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 Lana is legal and. I, and <sighs> the real question is, was that joke a step up from the weird yaoi shit we were going for earlier? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> necrophilia? Uh, well, yeah, I'd say it's worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, mean, yeah, I think yeah, necrophilia yeah. might be a bit of a hard description of it. She's just like stabbing them with knives, okay? It is still involving a dead body. But you said it was a kink. <laughs> yes. It it is a kink, which therefore she did it for sexual uh, gratification. Necrosadism? And, 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 I'm uncomfortable. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gumshoe's reaction is kind of how I'm feeling right now. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> he said. That's probably what you say. That is a good thing. Yeah. Let's or, move or on. Or is Smartly just tuned yeah, us yeah, out? She has learned like someone mentioned the word kink, okay? I am shutting ah, my Ah, they're talking off. about they're talking about something dirty again. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. Again. <laughs> again. We're going to expose him. Crazy! Oh no! Crazy! Oh, yes. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Someone. Uh, no oh, matter. Come on, what your it mind's takes. just too stuck in the gutter. Still, come on, bring it up. We bring it up. Bring it up. Don't say that either. Jeez, man. Please don't talk about stuff going up. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Out of the gutter! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> but you have to make the smacking noises, really. Oh, that's, that's, this is awful. I hate this. Hang it's on. a train wreck. There are too on. many people. Downward I spiral. To to an end. Why are you reading my line? <laughs> Maybe because that just kind of how it is. Yeah, this case Maybe is hurting too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. Maybe if we just rush past this back into the court, we cannot, you know. There's no gutters in court. There's no gutters in court! The court is too interesting for gutters. <laughs> How long has this video been so far? I eight, don't know. Eight, eight, eight minutes. No, we haven't done a goddamn thing. <laughs> eight minutes of bullshit. Par for the court. I'm not surprised. <laughs> the court will now con will, will, will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Now get your minds out of the gutter. Wait. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> huh? What? Nothing. Just a joke. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. Stop fucking up. Just <laughs> someone in the audience? <laughs> the Aquarium Committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your action. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. <laughs> that's... I want to say that's a burn. <laughs> or like, yes, that's just well, being an asshole. Oh. Very good. Normally, this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. But, yeah, <laughs> oh. well, Your Honor, sorry, you really need to stop smoking. Yes, yes I do. This isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that Mr. Edgeworth may have, um... Struck a bargain. 
You think I may have manipulated the witness? Is. I didn't say that! I just heard it! I just implied it! It's just to see, everyone has been talking and, well, you know. The judge isn't as suspicious as everyone else, but he's still like, everyone else is kind of, eh. You know, <laughs> literally everyone else is saying you are corrupt as hell, so... Very are... well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. Oh, thanks for your formal permission to do my job. Actually, it is the prosecution that's calling the witnesses. Yeah, but the defense can, uh, question. Yeah, the defense can call witnesses, too. So, yeah. There go. My smartass stands. Thank you. What? But that's never been a case example! Smartassery sustained. Blah, 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 blah! President! Stop. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement. But a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Then it settled. The uh, defense may now call forth the next witness. Mr. Wright. You do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. I can't tell if this is crossing over into being subtly helpful or genuinely gloating like normal. Nah. This seems like a really heavy hint that if you call the wrong one, it's fucking game over. The defense yeah. calls for a save state. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dark Wait, that's not a witness. <laughs> <laughs> the save state. Time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Gan. Gumshoe! <laughs> Meekins! <laughs> Damn it, Meekins! It was you all Bruce along. Good. <laughs> this is obviously Bruce. Oh, yeah. It <laughs> was actually a suicide the whole time! Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. It's David Gant! What does he have to do with anything? Besides the fact he is clearly the murderer! As the, de <laughs> As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Hmm, him again. As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. Just kick open the door. Hey, yo! Because Asshole, the edge flashed his tire. <laughs> he would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Because he's too busy manipulating you? Look, like everyone- Gant's here, this Gant's whole here because earlier he, cooked in the do he kicked in the doors just to be like, Yo, Lana, go ahead and testify and like... Yeah, it's Played like Lana like wanted to- <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? This courtroom's a damn fiddle! True. Damn it, Your Honor, have longer lines. I'm trying to drink Gatorade. <laughs> Alright, bailiff. Please escort Mr. Gat to the stand. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Too bad. Your name and occupation, sir. Oh, he's got the fucking finger waggle. No, it's serious. Worthy. Are you sure you want to do this? That's when, that's when he throws me out of the bus, right? No, the defense no. wanted this. <laughs> Your name and occupation. Damn. He's fucking 
pissed. So, you want to play hardball, eh? I prefer soccer. Please, Mr. Gat. I like golf. Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. They're requested. Oh, right. Oh, what's with the grim face? Well, I already had my fun testimony for the day. Now I'm in business mode. So first, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Yeah, that time Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor. Exactly. Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. Then you should have no problem testifying pretty quickly, huh? Yeah, it'll take like all of all five minutes of your time, Mr. Gant. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Why are we hiding the evidence, bitch? Like the role you played in all of this. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. I won't lie. It's a little bit of both. You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. I appreciate the idea of threatening me, but I've both been threatened by the mob and stunned by Dr Count fucking Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. That's some horseshit. If he can plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck the Constitution. <laughs> I, I, I mean... <laughs> Bleeding. Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. I don't know, the way they worded it implied, like, only the chief of police could not answer yeah. this testimony. Yeah. Very well. The witness may now begin his testimony. Nah, okay. This is how law works in Phoenix land. <laughs> yeah. Kid gloves are off. It's fucking go time. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Right, by the way, I gotta say, I detest on principle them calling it uh, Emma murdering the prosecutor. That's like clear-cut manslaughter right there. Yeah, yeah like I, under I, under I, high duress manslaughter. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah. And it wasn't even intentional. Yeah, no. Yes, yeah. I mean, that was an accident that, we, you know, wrongful death. Okay, I mean... Hmm. Is that when Doc was arrested? Yeah, he was lying on the floor unconscious. Three hundred percent gets in that fucking armor. <laughs> got Emma me. sent Neil flying. It seems Doc bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear cut. The police chief has the right to refuse to testify. Then I'd better hit him hard and fat. Hard and fast. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Mines out of the gutter, please! Sorry, Your Honor. Is that, is that gonna be the name of this episode? I in the know. gutter? That's not up to Mines in the gutter? <laughs> Why should we get our minds out of the gutter when this case is already in a fucking sewer? Trial in the gutter. <laughs> Who's ready As to I recall, recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. I thought they were required to go. After winning his award, Neil was all fouled up too. Go and turn around and go right back to work. That's probably what spooked Doc and made him run away like that. Was the defendant Lana Sky also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Doc ran for it. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. So the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right, but Doc made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs and I went downstairs. I guess you could say. He got lucky. Boo! 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 You son of a bitch, I'm gonna shoot you dead. Boo! <laughs> this man! <laughs> that was bad and you should feel bad. That was my goddamn brother. <laughs> What's this about the power outage? Uh, that's sad. Oh, that. The elevator stopped all of a sudden and I got the shock of my life. Well, <laughs> probably not as shocked as Neil was when that knife went into his heart, though. Boo! Boo! Boo this man! Boo this man! I, you, you know, and at first it's like, guy... what the hell, dude? <laughs> That's not funny. Funny? No, it's not. <laughs> When I went to my office, I found Lana there. I love how Gant took his biggest leap into being unlikable in the last three lines. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, yeah, you know, you know, up to now he was kind of a jerk, but you know, bye. he was like sort of charismatic, but now he's just full on douchebag. Yeah, yeah like douchebag, like yeah. Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking set. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor. Yes, apparently he hit his head and was knocked out. Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now... She must have already known what her sister had done. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. How can you know that? Because of the victim's body. It had, it had already been moved. So that means... You found the body near Lana's desk. That's right. I think you said earlier... It was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor? Yes. Anyway... As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Forgery? Maybe not. The murder? Yes! Uh. So you're saying the forgery had already taken place by the time you arrived at your office? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt. But moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter what the circumstances. Is that how it really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. Excuse me! 
If you're going to stare at anything, you'd be better off staring at the court record. I'm eating my sandwich, you dick. I gotta eat one sometime, Edgeworth. <laughs> Unlike you, I don't have a fast network of assistants to help me put together this shit. We gotta pick something apart from what he said. I mean, we do have the evidence list he hid, but I don't know how much of that. Yeah, you got it. Oh. Yeah, we have the evidence list. He 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 hid evidence. Oh yeah, that's true. That nothing to do with his forgery, but he did. Fuck worthy, with shit. worthy. Always the smooth talker. So I guess the last one when he talks about forgery. Yeah. But which yep. piece of evidence ties Dan to the forgery? Lana did admit to forging evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. Somehow I've got to link Dan to the incident. Uh, face? I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I'm not like thinking too hard about this, but although I should be. Well, well no, um, present the evidence. The evidence. Right? Yeah. Well, it says that he hid evidence related to the case, so it's good yeah. enough. <laughs> you claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I got the shit eating grin, so I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot <laughs> back up. <laughs> Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this list, for example. That's the list Emma Sky drew her picture on. Yeah, it is. This was discovered in your desk. Not only that, but a piece of this jar that was sitting in your office was found inside your safe. It was found where? In his safe, your honor. I heard you, that was just for dramatic. Continue. <laughs> You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation. There's a piece of hair on my microphone. And I can't Chief Gant, what is the meaning of that? Cool. That's rude. You shouldn't call your honor that. <laughs> I thought he was he a chief. Definitive, here's a defense attorney who may even rival worthy. You mean like the four cases in a row I won against him or something? Yeah, maybe. And the one case I won for him? Yeah, that too. Yeah. And yes, I'm including this one in my count. Thank you. <laughs> so you admit to it then? That you were involved in the forgery? Oh, me? Or do you mean you? No, that's not how that works, Ian. Sorry. Me? Why would I even know you? That? You can't know you, me. I wasn't even an attorney two years ago. Know you. What is this? YouTube? <laughs> well. What is this shit? You were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. I have a book that says it's still relevant. You can't do this to me. Uh, I mean, <laughs> he, he, he does have a point. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. <laughs> Defense attorneys can do so too. Jerk. Why was it in your safe to begin with, bro? Isn't that right, Rado? Left. However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. 
Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. What? That did go shoot salary jobs any further. He'll end up paying to work. Yes, well, in light uh, uh, of the d detective's present, please, uh, please give us your testimony re regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office. That's a uh, win in my book there. <laughs> Get fucking told, Gant. And the relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. Mama. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. I'm older than you! Is he? I, I'd say the judge is like in his 70s or something. Gant's 65, but the yeah. judge looks pretty fucking old. <laughs> Yeah, the judge. He might be telling off Phoenix there. <laughs> it makes even less sense because Phoenix just called about all his bullshit. Let's see, what was it now? A jaw fragment? The list? For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. But they were dead. But the. The list was definitely drawn two years ago because it lines up with Evan. Ah! Just present it again. <laughs> <laughs> if they were found after Doc was convicted, then they're worthless. But the drawing on the back lines it up in time with the fucking. I hate. I hate. That's it. Period. I hate. Period. <laughs> There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Yeah, my ass. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Maybe you should just press him, too. Yeah, hmm. I think it will. See what Mr. we Mr. Wright. Judge. Yes, Your Honor. When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. You tell me that a year in? You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. You're right. You are going to prison. Oh. Indeed, I believe I will press charges. So you won't make the same mistake again. Be kind of hard to press charges for in the fucking gas chamber. I, I defended myself once. I'll do it again, bitch. Let's go. My apologies, Chief. But would you uh, mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Unfortunately, even if he goes to jail, he's still able to press charges, so. I'm fucked. Not if we execute him today. <laughs> That's not. There are lots of things that don't work in real life that work in Trite, so. Yeah, yes. Today is, well, you know. <laughs> Alright, Uji. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? What are these guys t telepathic? They're old bros. Yep. For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Why? I'd appreciate it if you stopped making these ridiculous allegations. Yes, you do have a point. You wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. Uh, You're absolutely right. You Damn right, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would never break the law. I'll have you know, back in the day I once broke into a cattle ranch and tip... Phoenix, why? Phoenix? No. Mr. Wright, what are you saying? I tipped the anyway, tractor, okay? You can't prove you didn't carry in the evidence, can you? That tractor never walked again. <laughs> <laughs> if you have proof to the contrary, you're going to need it later. Later? What are you talking about? What else? I'm talking about when your fingerprints are found. Yes, if they're found inside my safe, it would prove your investigation was illegal. Uh, 
faced anyone as slimy as this guy. I disagree. I don't know, Red White was pretty fucking yeah. sleazy. Yeah. I'd say even Von Karma was a little bit sleazier. This guy's definitely slimy though, don't get me wrong. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. Bullshit. Gant's just kind of like, you know, an asshole, but Red Light was like actually threatening to kill people, so... Yeah. It, he did. <laughs> yes. Give him a bit, though. What do you mean by that? This is all purely hypothetical, of course. But suppose I did place those items in my safe. Such an act wouldn't necessarily constitute forgery. Hiding half an evidence list constitutes you are... Uh, yeah, ah. The list wasn't in his safe. <laughs> it was in his desk. Wasn't it? But... And two pieces of possible evidence in the safe. And the prosecutor on the case said he never saw the list. That sounds like he's hiding a plenty of fucking evidence to me. But what he is going if he hid it after the case was solved. It wouldn't technically be hiding up. If concealing it. Like he like I didn't participate in the forgery. I found out about it afterward and kept it hush hush, but I didn't actually and wasn't yeah, involved in it's it. Still I a problem. Think... <laughs> it's not, I, 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 that's not suddenly okay. <laughs> I, I mean, it is guilt by omission. Which, yes, not good. He, he should definitely have, you know, consequences, but he didn't actively cover it up. But his, if the... <laughs> we're not... Found it across part of the thing, too, is we're not trying to pin him for having done anything wrong. We're trying to pin him for having done specific things wrong that are relevant to this case. Yes. I'm not through speaking yet, Mr. Rod. It all depends on when the evidence was discovered. If they were found after Doc was convicted, then they're worthless. Are you saying this jar fragment wasn't discovered in the initial investigation? It would appear not. After all, it wasn't listed in the evidence list. <laughs> For all we know, it could have suddenly materialized the day after Doc was sentenced. But the rest of the jar was on the list? That is total bullshit, but legally standing, I mean... What is on the list, anyways? Can we see what's on the list? I don't think you can. That's fucked. I want to know what's on that list, damn it. Oh, wouldn't that be convenient? Right. The chief is talking about a possibility, so long as you can't rule that out. Your remarks, however clever they may be, will only succeed in wasting time. Tell me something I don't know. Come now, Mr. Rat. Think about it. No, you can't me. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Did we loop? No. No, not yet. How can you look me in the eye and say that? Because I'm innocent. But your eyes are closed. You're not looking me in the eye at all. Remember? Who was it that murdered Neil? I'm not sure I care for the word murder here. Thank you! <laughs> but in the end, the person responsible for Mr. Marshall's unfortunate demise was Emma Scott. I still feel like we could tie this to Joe Dark thinking he could escape in the middle of the fucking prosecutor's office. Well, now do you see? Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Really, Chief Gant? At the very least, there is one very large benefit you reaped from all of this. 
Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would, of course, be the position you have, Chief of Police. Oh! The resolution of the SL9 incident secured your promotion to Chief. That in and of itself is sufficient motive. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a good one. Do you really think I'm that incompetent? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes, he was going to be made chief anyway. Be careful when pointing that finger, or you might end, wind up being the one pointed at. Oh no, don't point at me. So that means... There's only one possible motivation for you to commit forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. I'm a goddamn selfish bastard. <laughs> I never have. That's, that's what he's about to say, basically. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. Yeah, it's out in the open now. Uh, would you mind if I changed my testimony a little? You know, I would like to say that no one who says I only look out for me, myself, and I should be chief of protect and serve police force. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, please do. Everyone else does. I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. Nothing in it for you? <laughs> Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. Protect and serve. Yep. Ah. Myself. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't stand for protect and serve yours truly. And that girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. You know... Going back to that whole, who's the slimiest thing, he might not be the most slimy in that regard, but he's definitely the one I want to send to prison the fucking most. <laughs> yeah, I, I know! And just wait. <laughs> You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. We spent this whole case giving Emma shit. And I still feel like I, I am obligated to send this guy for prison just for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be tough on crime and on people. That's how I was raised. You seem to be lax enough on yourself, though. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Oh, that's a good one, Worthy. I didn't want it. <laughs> the resolution of this case was the judge gets offended that Gamela cares about himself and not the judge at all and sends him to prison. Guilty for pretending to be my friend. Yeah, guilty of being an asshole just pulls out his hammer and just like beats his shit out of him and sends him to prison. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness. He have helped someone out? That's a tough one. Think back to uh, Angel Star saying something. She's had a lot of shit I don't listen to. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, she said something very relevant. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh god, I can't remember what she said. <laughs> there, she's, she did say a lot of stuff that was relevant to the case. Oh, no doubt. Okay, she pointed out how uh, after, like, Gant got Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office and it effectively gave him a stranglehold over the entire legal system because he had control of the police department and the prosecutor's office. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. So he, I mean, I guess that would make 
Okay. Lana is accomplished. Now, I don't know if I'd call her an accomplice, but yeah. True, you might not help out anyone for their sake, but if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. I leaned forward like that was going to make my voice any louder. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Judge. It appears you positively you're positively determined to, to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to <laughs> lend people a hat. That's literally not what I said. It's not what I mean. Why do you never give me a chance when every single fucking time I'm on this stand, all I do is turn Microsoft account problem. All I ever do is turn it around on them. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. All asked. Who is the person you believe Chief Gad may have helped forge evidence? All right, Meekins, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky, the, the defendant. I believe it's quite obvious in the light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief Prosecutor at the Prosecutor's Office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gann. But, but, how would he profit from all of this? You would be able to use the Chief Prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. So he could do anything he wanted. Forge evidence, get her to commit a murder, commit a murder and get her to take the fall, take the for, fall it. for it. You mean to tell me that despite the chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, hand puppets. Edward wanna... proceeds to just slam his fucking binder on the goddamn floor. Here's my uh, defense attorney's badge. I'm gonna go live on a on a lake with a cabin and just paint pictures of the skyline for the rest of my life. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Um, Lana, you're fucked. You are done. <laughs> yes. Lana. Phoenix Wright puppet show when? <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix puppet pals. Oh wait. You mean puppet? As if someone forced this into the. Ah. Admit it, Chief! <laughs> you assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive to appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Boy, that right, was... oh my boy, you have quite an imagination. That was a great line for me to read. That was fun. Let me ask you something. No. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, fuck Do you have any proof of this? That I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've ever done such a thing? Lana... She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she'd testify against the game. I'm afraid without any proof, this all amounts to nothing more than conjecture. Unless, that is also what happened in this incident. This incident, um, which one would that be? Too many incidents. Of course, I'm talking about the murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Da 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 da! Show him what he's won. Worthy, you'd better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. 
D just what do you mean? What he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gid is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? 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 I'm surrounded by idiots! Everyone's going to prison! Order, order! I said order! Goodness. Mr. Wright, you. you can't be serious! Huh? This, <laughs> this is a threat to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency! You ever consider that, like, like holy grail status he has and why he can get away with shit like this? You accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder! I guess that answers my question. That, 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 impossible! Your Honor, I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easier to understand language. It's too late, Mr. Wright. There's no turning back for us now. Looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Well, we shit. should literally turn back now, Edgeworth. If he can't upstage me, damn it, I won't allow it. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the Chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? Good question. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. Alright then. Show us the evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Good. Just remember, it better be good. Okay, 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 okay. It's the blue demon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Emma's fingerprint. That the murder is... of Goodman. Ah, good. The fact he was in the room the, at the same time. Well, wait, no. What that piece of evidence says that? that. <laughs> the uh, the record of uh, the IDs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the ID record. Yeah, I mean that proved he was there. But then again, you know that his that's his number. That ties into the murder of Bruce Goodman? That's what my... This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. 777777. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. Nope. I keep hearing the fucking numbers. <laughs> it's your number. Mm -hmm. What? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven-digit? You don't mean! I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was... Seven 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 seven. He's stupid enough to use that for his coat. I bet his luggage is one two three four five. It probably is. The same as the remaining ID card on that list. 
the chief get? You and oh, he looks upset now. He got it. Chief Gant, you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. This is my ringtone now, just so you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Order. Order. Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Nothing. The defense of search of my office was in violation of regulations. And I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. But right now, this court demands an explanation from you. About the use of this ID card. I'm going to jail. Well, this is probably just a five. You'll be okay. I don't have any money. I'm going to jail. <laughs> Chief Gat, so you admit it. You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. This is the hypest shit in the world right now. What about it? I'm chief of police, whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me. Ah, the hubris. When you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. I don't know, maybe you make Gumshoe be your personal footstool. <laughs> Detective Goodman wouldn't have happened to be with you that day. Would he? Of course not. Why would it be? I haven't seen him in days. You hadn't seen him in days? Chief Gang. I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. On that day, you had that bet with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? The trial the trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. Your Honor, you know what happens whenever I'm in this courtroom now. <laughs> yes. I find out who's actually guilty and do everyone else's job for them. Except for yours. Yeah. That's... <laughs> no, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. Sorry, yeah. When I come to in this courtroom, I find the truth. If Chief Gant met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. So it's proof that the defendant went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Give me a second. What the fuck is this? That's the odd guy. Oh, that. Oh, that's that. I, I, I'm pretty sure to take a look, look, look at the card record again. I, 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 I thought it was like in that same time. No. They went in, they went in at the same time. Uh, in fact, if the real Goodman went into the room, there's a reason he needed someone else to help him in. Oh, oh yeah, because he card. not lost his card. Yeah, yeah, he because he filed, he, he lost his card. Oh, he went filed. He started. To... Yeah, he started. Yeah. To be submitted to the chief. Okay. Yep. He lost. Okay. But that doesn't really. That's what you're supposed to present. Really? Oh. Seems a little. Take that! Detective Goodman lost his ID card the day of the crime. 
Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Discord's freaking out a little bit for me. Yet you are in possession of the report. Which means you can't be sure if he filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? It was transferal day. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was thinking the... Um, card record. Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh. Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Kid. Then... You accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him? There's no other way that the murderer and the detective... There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on. Let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman. Exactly. But wait! The chief doesn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. He could have just let him in, let, lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. But you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body. Oh! oh. Got him! <laughs> no! Jeez. He really went super saiyan. Yeah, he's gonna... Chief Jack, you did... The murder was most likely committed on the spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would have chose the police. Would have, no one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why else to dispose of Detective Goodman's body? However, are you objecting to help me? Hello. The victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office's parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. You were at the ceremony. He didn't even have to leave the police department. He just stuffed it in your fucking back seat of your car before you left. I don't know if that's true. It just makes sense in my head. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey, <laughs> you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. Meekins? Meekins, probably. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. All this time, I thought it was a useless clue just taking up space. That screwdriver. How could the chief have moved the body? Maybe I'm right. Maybe he just stuffed it in Edgeworth's car and said, Hey, take this yeah, screwdriver got, back to the got prosecutor's Edward office. Here. <laughs> got <laughs> Edgeworth the, 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 there, shoved the body in the trunk. Yeah, Edgeworth is already there. Stuff yeah. the body in the trunk, hand him a screwdriver, say, hey, can you take that to the prosecutor's office? Problem solved. Yeah. Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, Chief can't use this. I don't know if I'm right, but it lines up. You're both back. right. Both yeah. Right. I mean, I hope it, if it, one it, of us is right, we... Yeah. Uh, do you want to... That screwdriver. Well, the stub would say the same thing, wouldn't it? Right 
this is how he moves Detective Goodman's body. What's that? A screwdriver? But what does it have to do with this case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is the screwdriver doing here? It's here because... Uh, ugh! I, I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it at the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back to the prosecutor's office. Like a damn fiddle! Like After like a the damn ceremony fiddle. ended that day. I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I... I... Got played like a damn fiddle. The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. It's a transformer! Dennis his body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car! Yes, unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to carry evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Skye. She's still going to prison, but at least it's not murder. <laughs> Accessory. Order, order, order! What's going on here? Is there no room for is, is is there no room for rebuttal to the prince's outrageous accusation? Not really. Think back to the photograph Miss Star took at the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of a bot of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. What was she gonna do with it from there? <laughs> well, hide it in her office. <laughs> I just drop him on the fucking <laughs> desk. Oh, hey, Goodman. <laughs> he must be sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Posing his body like he's just kicking his feet up on her desk. Yeah. They're just, uh, they're just chilling out. Well, <laughs> uh, Chief Gap, please say. Stop boss, me. say something. Boss! Thanks for that, boss. I believe... Your time's up. What? No. My time's up? Sorry, Rado, but I'm having lunch with the District Attorney General after this. We have to get going if we're to make it in time for the early bird special. Oh, you... you old fuck. Ah! <laughs> you old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Including Like the right God. to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? This is not, not right to be... This is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Like the fact that you look guilty as fuck. Hey, uh, yeah. So you're going to just run away after all this? <laughs> run away? Don't make me laugh, Worthy. <laughs> I stabbed old Goodman, that's what you're saying, right? Click, But if edit. you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gann... Shove it up your ass, Your Honor. Apology. Shove it up your ass. Court no, will I will not, not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright? You're on it. Do you have any concrete proof? 
proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Guy dispose of his body. Do we have any concrete proof? Do we have concrete proof? I believe save state, but I think the answer is no. It's no use showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. <laughs> See, LG. In that case, this court is first to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Udgy, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm gonna go have lunch. Son of a bitch, I want lunch! <laughs> I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This, this is an affront to a senior officer at the nation's law enforcement agency. Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. Lady who knows the truth? Another witness! In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. Chief Gann has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions. Raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edwards, who is this person? <laughs> Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? I'll be willing to tell the truth. We can't just stop now. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. I'm like, this game's about three steps ahead of me here. It's Lana. Yeah, that's the only person yeah, we haven't heard test Lana. tested money from. The defendant, Miss Lana Sky. I just didn't expect that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> she was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 p.m. on February 21, 21? 21st. I mean, she had, to be fair, she has been pretty uncooperative this entire time. Yeah. Her task to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. Oh, good. An opportunity to end the video. <laughs> yep. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. The court is now in re. Hold on. Oh, wait. That might be Lana. Huh? Oh, no. It's okay. Chief Gat, I thought you were going to eat. Bastard won't even let me in the video. <laughs> Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. Wow, that doesn't sound fishy at all. That is clearly a threat. He's saying it right in front of the judge. Can, can someone yeah. please point this out? Hello? That's right. Your Honor, he's threatening my client. <laughs> you can threaten me all day, but you can't threaten someone's client. Hey, hey, hey wait a minute, Gant. You, you just invoked your fucking fifth. Get the hell out the, get the hell off the stand. Get out of here. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Fucking try That's me. That's literally impossible. I'll line up to bat stop that from happening, too. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I mean, like, Emma will have to have her own trial. I'd like to see you try. Bring it, you old motherfucker. Let's go. Of course, you'd never support such outrageous claims anyway. Right. 
I don't think the judge would support such outrageous claims. Oh, I, I would mean, take this. I'd take this bitch to try. Like I would. I would fucking destroy him yeah. again. I, I would not only get her declared innocent, I'd get her declared like extra innocent. Everyone, <laughs> everyone have to give her money instead. Just something to think about. All right then. I've got a lunch date to meet. This guy makes my blood boil. I'm actually living <laughs> right now. Yeah, like I'm I... fucking live. I just shouted some, some shit about him being an old fuck through my entire apartment. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, if there aren't any further objections, we can end this video. Objection! It's the blue the badger court that objected. Is now in reset. This court's gotta go fiest. Don't say a word, Edgeworth! <laughs> this video's gotta end. Silence, Edgeworth! <laughs> Next time. Lana testimony. Yay! Objection! Yay. Ah!